हेलो गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट दी सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाओ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द फोर्स ऑफ मैग्नीच्यूड थर्टी न्यूटन एक्स ऑन द ब्रेकेट एज शोन डिटर्मिन द मोमेंट ऑफ द फोर्स अबाउट द ए एक्सिस वी हैव टू फाइंड द मोमेंट अबाउट दिस ए एक्सिस विच इज द शाफ्ट एक्सिस Uh, axis of the pipe right and it is given that alpha beta and gamma the coordinate direction angles of this force f is given right so alpha beta and gamma are the angles of this force f with x y and z axis respectively so it is said that also determine the coordinate direction angles of f in order to produce the maximum moment about the x x axis and what is that maximum moment so first of all we have to find the moment of this force f which is making alpha beta and gamma angle with the x y and z axis and after that we have to find the maximum moment of this force f about the a a axis and we have to find the coordinate direction angles of the force which is going to produce the maximum moment so first of all we know that the moment about the a a axis this must be equal to the cross product of the moment arm and the force f so first of all let's say that if we uh, look into this whole mechanism from this direction so we will have this free body diagram and in this free body diagram we are going to uh, see the x and z axis is from this direction only the x axis and the z axis is going to visible and the y axis is, is into the screen right so the y axis is into the screen so we can say that this is the x z projection right of that uh, pipe along with the bracket so that force f is going is acting in this direction right that force f is going to some some of this force is or we can say that this force is the this is the projection of this force f on the x z plane since this uh, force f is also making some angle with the y axis so this means that this force f is uh, going into the screen right but in the x z plane it's going to be uh, like straight right it's going to be the projection in the x z plane so let's say that this force f is uh, acting at at this particular point let's say and that particular point is let's say point a and this point a is if let's say that this is that point a where the origin is located so this origin is at a distance of 50 mm so this height is 50 mm this length is 100 mm this is given and this height is 100 mm this is also given and this is this point uh, is the center of the pipe and the the a, a axis is is into the screen which is passing through this particular point so now if we define our moment arm so that so that moment arm can be a vector from o to a right this will be our position vector from o to b uh, from o to a and which we can declare is our moment arm so this r o a is the position vector and which is the moment arm for that force f which is going to produce the moment about the a a axis so now first of all we have to find the force f as a cartesian vector so it's very simple we are given the coordinate direction angles of that force f so f vector that will be equal to f cos of alpha into i plus f cos of beta into j plus f cos of gamma into k since alpha beta and gamma are the coordinate direction angles so now the f magnitude is given which is 30 so this is 30 cos of gamma gamma is 60 this is given and this is again 30 cos of beta beta is also 60 and 30 cos of gamma and gamma is 45 So forty-five degrees into k. So this is the Cartesian vector representation of that force F. So now, and we we have to find the position vector from O to A. So from O, from O we need to travel how much distance? We need to travel this much distance. 
to in the negative x and this distance is this distance is how much this distance is 100 the length of this right so we have to travel 100 mm in the negative x so 100 mm in meters is 0.1 so you need to travel 0.1 meters in the negative x that is in the negative i so we will reach this we will we will reach this particular point so from from here we need to travel this much distance in the positive z and this distance is this 100 plus this 50 right this 100 plus this 50 so 150 in the positive k so 150 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.15 so plus 0 0.15 in the positive k if we um, represent this moment arm in this 3d diagram so that is going to act somewhere here like this so we need to travel this distance and then this distance. So this distance is 100 mm and this distance is 150. So 150 divided by 1000 is 0.15. So there is no need to travel in the y direction. So this means that the y component of this ROA is 0. So now we have to find the cross product of ROA with that force F. So this is I, J and K. Now our OA is minus 0 0.10 and 0 0.15 and this is 30 cos of 60 the I component of the force, 30 cos of 60 the J component of the force and 30 cos of 45 the K component of the force. So now this is equal to, so for I we have to hide this and this and we have to take this product. So 0 minus 0 0.15 into 30 into i. Then for j we have to hide this and this and we have to take this minus this. The product of this minus the product of this. So this is and with j we always need to write minus right. So minus then the product of this and this. So minus 0 0.1 into 30 of 45 minus 0 0.15 into 30 cos of 60 and this is into j and now for k we have to hide this row and this column so this minus 0 right so minus 0 0.1 this and this so minus 0 0.1 into 30 cos of 60k so now this is uh, minus 0 0.15 into 30 cos of 60 this gives us minus 2.25 i then the j1 j is uh, minus and minus 0 0.1 into 30 cos of 45 minus 0 0.15 into 30 cos of 60 so this is plus 1.896 so we we need to write it is approximately 1.90 j and minus 0 0.1 into 30 cos of 60 so this is 1.5 k so this is the moment produced by that 30 newton force with the given alpha beta and gamma angles now if you want to find the magnitude of this moment about the aa axis we can find the magnitude by using the pythagoras theorem so we need to take the, the sum of the squares of all the components and then we need to take the square root so this is 2.25 square plus 1.90 square plus 1.5 square So this gives me 3.30 Newton meter. The units are Newton meters since uh, the force is given in Newtons and the distance is given in mm, but we have converted that into meters, right? So the, the units are in Newton meters. 
Now in the next part of the problem it is said that determine the coordinate direction angles of force F in order to produce the maximum moment about the x axis. Now if you want to find the mom the maximum moment about the x axis this force must be perpendicular with this moment arm. Right? So we will have the maximum moment. So let me write that m max magnitude that will be equal to f into d and or we can say that f multiply by we can say that r o a into f and this f must be perpendicular to that r o a so they must be making 90 degrees so this means that if they are making 90 degrees with each other so this force f must be in x z plane so it must be in the vertical plane right so if we look into this given force which has three components so this force f has one component in the x one component in the y and one component in the z so this f of x is producing the moment about the a axis and this f of z is producing the moment about the a axis but this y component of force f is parallel to the the a axis so the y component is not going to produce the moment about the a axis so this means that this y component is the is the waste right so this y component is of no use of producing the moment about the a axis so if you want to have the maximum moment about the a axis the f y component of the force must be zero so uh, if if the f y component of the force is equal to zero we will have the maximum moment about the a axis so now we can find the magnitude of that maximum moment using this uh, scalar equation. So we can find this ROA length. So this ROA length is if uh, if I draw a vertical line here and if I draw a horizontal line here. So this length is this length is 100 mm. This 100 mm and this length is 150. So in other words, this is 0.1 meters this length is 0.1 meters and this length is 0 0.15 meters so we can find our oa magnitude our oa uh, magnitude or length is uh, by using the pythagoras theorem this will be 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.15 square under the square root so this is 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.15 square so this is 0 0.180 zero meters so this is 0 0.180 into force magnitude which is 30 so this answer multiplied by 30 so this is 5.41 newton meter which is greater than this 3.30 newton meter so it's obvious that if this force f is perpendicular with this momentum it's going to produce the maximum moment and this 5.41 this value must be greater than this one right now in the problem statement we are asked to find the alpha beta and gamma in the case where the moment produced is maximum so what is alpha now the force which is making uh, angle with x-axis is alpha and this angle with the z-axis is gamma and is we have discussed that this force f must be in the xz plane and its y component must be zero so if its y component is zero we can say that uh, 30 cos of beta this must be zero this is f of y right so from this we can say that uh, cos of beta is zero divided by 30 so so this will zero and cause of cause inverse zero is is 90 right so we can say that beta is 90 degrees similarly uh, we can say that uh, f of x is 30 cos of alpha now we have to find this angle alpha you have to find this angle alpha but we do not know the magnitude of f of x so now we have to use some uh, geometric skills 
so as we can see that uh, here we have some angle right this angle so now if you look into this force f this force f is perpendicular with uh, this this line this oe and this x axis is, is perpendicular with this vertical line right this x axis is, is perpendicular with this vertical line and this f is perpendicular with this so this means that if the angle between these two is alpha then the angle between this line and this line is also alpha so we can say that this angle is also alpha so now we can find this alpha angle indirectly we can say that uh, tan alpha is perpendicular so this alpha is perpendicular divided by base so we can say that this is tan alpha is 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.15 or we can say that alpha is 10 inverse 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.15 so 10 inverse 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.15 this gives us 33.69 so alpha angle is 33.69 And now as we know that uh, this f is in the vertical plane its y component is zero so as f is making angle alpha so this whole angle is 90 degree so 90 minus alpha will give us gamma right so we can say that gamma is 90 minus alpha so 90 minus this answer will give us 56.31 approximately So now the maximum moment produced is 5.41 Newton meter and the force F has a magnitude of 30 Newton and alpha is the angle with the x axis is for producing the maximum moment is 33.69 and the angle with the y axis is 90 degrees and the angle with the z axis is 56.31 degrees. So these are the coordinate direction angles for producing the maximum moment about the AA axis. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibla Statics.